Welcome back to the Winter Major Expert Division opening round hole number nine. Here we're going to be playing a Sniper Bounce Up for the Albatross. We're using a King Slayer. You're going to need a Rock 8 Plus, APOC 5 Plus, and a Sniper 9 Plus for this shot. The adjustment for the drive is P3 plus 5% max numbers. So we're starting with our rock. If you have a rock nine, you want to set up with the clear ring touching the left rough at the top of the 15, like so. If you have rock eight, have the clear ring touching the left rough at P3 max rest. Then we're going to switch to our APOC bag, APOC sniper. If you're playing this shot with a Sniper 9, I recommend you use a P4 ball, at least. You can also use a P5 ball here if you need to. Um, and the reason for that is the Sniper 9 is a couple of plus yards, is a couple of yards short on distance. And depending on the rollout on the drive, if you catch a little bit shorter of a rollout, you could find yourself uh, pulling into max sniper with a P3 ball, in which case you'll have to play it with a little bit of overpower. It's still an easy, safe eagle, but it just reduces the chance of dropping the albatross. So if you have one and you're using sniper 9, I definitely recommend using it. You still want to set up with your P3 ball. Uh, and then before you adjust, switch to your P4 or 5 ball. If you happen to be using a P4 or 5 ball, you're still going to use the P3 numbers in the app for the approach. And you're still going to use sniper P3 plus yard numbers. And I'm going to give you that chart as well. Six top spin. And you're going to use side spin depending on what level APOC you have. So APOC 5 and 6, you'll use 3 top spin, and obviously you'll have 5.8, uh, I'm sorry, 5.8 top spin, and you'll have use 3 left spin, 3 left spin for APOC 5 and 6. APOC 7 is, as you see here, 6 top and 2.7 left spin, and then APOC 8 is 6 top and 2.7 five left spin and the reason we're doing that is because they have different amounts of curl we're playing a full curl shot with circle drop op uh, so if you don't tweak your side spin here you're going to end up further left and further away from the hole so this is to kind of keep our drives more consistent throughout the different level apox uh, so it's, like I said, full left curl, and then circle drop overpower plus whatever you pull into here. Sometimes you're not going to pull into any OP. Sometimes you're going to pull, you know, a half a ring. I don't think I've ever pulled more than a ring. Uh, so what I do is if, I, if I'm pulling right around a half a ring, I'll find circle drop, and then I'll add about three clicks OP, maybe four. Um, there is a little bit of room because it's a headwind shot. There's a little bit of room on the end of that fairway there. So just don't get crazy with it. You don't want to add too much. You catch some sort of speed roll that I never saw, right? But you also don't want to be short on your drive. You want to try and get to the 365 to 368 range here. Most of my drives have been ending up right around 366 to 367, which is fine, right? For the approach shot, this shot plays P3 plus 15% at slider. I'm using a set spin here of two backspin and two right spin. 
Uh, with that being said, if you catch some sort of short drive or you're using a P3 ball with uh, Sniper 9 and, you know, you can't quite reach, still safe eagle. Very easy to get up there. Not a problem. Uh, and you'll still even have a chance at the Albatross. It'll just be, you'll have to kind of wing it because I, I'm only able to kind of set up, you know, for what I have. So, straight with a slight 1201 flicker is the pull for the approach. And what you want to do is, with spin added, you want to have the tip of the ball guide just touching the front center of the cup. Two back spin, two right spin. Tip of ball guide just touching the front center of the cup. Like you see there. We're at the plus three. So I wasn't quite center, so I went and tweaked the position there. So now we're nice and centered and just going into the front of the cup. That's what you want to see. Now we're down to the plus two. So we're going to play this P3 plus 15% at 75 slider. Uh, one thing you want to do here on this pull is make sure that you have a slight 1201 flicker here. Uh, this one here is probably one click uh, less 1201 flicker than I need. That's This is more of a straight pull. And you're going to see I, I come into the left edge of the cup, and that's because I didn't ha quite have the 1201 flicker that I was looking for. Um, that will help you come in more center cup on this approach shot. Do recommend practicing this one. Uh, so you can get comfortable with it, see how things are rolling for you and what you may need to tweak and adjust to get yourself the albatross. A really good opportunity here. It is a very pull angle dependent approach shot. So just keep that in mind if you're missing to one side or the other. It's most likely because of a pull angle or you kind of got a funky drive or something and, and you're set up in a different location. Uh, but generally speaking, it's going to be because of a pull angle. So if you find yourself missing left consistently, try offsetting just right or vice versa. It's been consistent. So if you can get your pulls to consistency and get your offset right, really good opportunity here. So I wish you all the best of luck. I hope you get the drop. And we'll see you on the next one. Sniper plus yard P3 numbers 0 is 70, 1 is 72, 2 is 75, 3 is 77, 4 is 85 is 92, 6, I'm sorry, 5 is 82, 6 is 85, 7 is 87, 8 is 90, plus 9 is 92, 10 is 95, 11 is 97, and plus 12 is 100% slider.